Warning. This podcast is for mature audiences only. If you are under 18, please leave now. That goes for you as well, Karen. We are not professionals, so don't take our advice for shit. So just sit back and enjoy our kinky adventures. And welcome back, you kinky fuckers, to Bang Bang Pineapple Gang. That's right, Bang Bang Pineapple Gang. Coming in your ears via podcast land, whether it be Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Amazon, wherever you can download a podcast, we are probably there with me, Jay, your host. <laughs> Good throwing you off here with these titties. Yeah. And who are you with the great titties over there? I am the sexy V. Mm, the very sexy V. And she is like rubbing her tits and. Running her finger around those sexy nipples. Yeah, you were doing pretty good until the end there. Oh, yeah. But the only thing is, is your Mountain Dew bottle is blocking oh, this nipple. Sorry. All right. Now that's good. And now your microphone is hiding the other one. Oh, yeah. But I don't can't move touch that. the microphone. <laughs> we don't want to fuck up the microphones <laughs> nope. tonight. No. <Nope. laughs> but yeah, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Bang Bang Pineapple Gang, your sexy lifestyle podcast. Well, uh, I think this is only two weeks from the last episode, so this is like... We've been doing... That's good. <laughs> that's really good for us lately. Yeah, considering the last few times, um, I think what like, probably the last three or four times we've recorded, it's been about a month in between because your son is a cock blocker and is always here. Yeah, uh, we were going to record earlier in the week, could have had the podcast a, lot, a little earlier, but he called in to work. You got, no, I got sick or you got sick? Well, I had a headache one day after work, so I didn't really feel like doing a podcast. And then uh, he called in the next day or the next available time that we would have been able to record. Yeah, and then we, Mother Nature, struck big time here. Yeah. Had a tornado two houses down for me. Yeah, literally, (laughs) like houses down. And it's so funny because, well, it's not funny, but... Um, you know, luckily everything was good. There's no damage. Everybody's safe. That's Except for my, my, yeah, my, my fence is trash. Well, the fence is trash, but <laughs> clearly that's something that can be easily yeah. replaced. Yeah. But, um, you know, you hear on the news like, oh, severe weather, severe weather, this and that. And they say tornado is possible. And you're thinking like, okay, I've heard this a bajillion times. There's not going to be a tornado at my house. Yeah, right. You know, like you're thinking that. And then all of a sudden the weather comes and. We were kind of texting back and forth, and um, yeah, you're like, oh, the power went out. Now, I don't know if this happened before or after the power went out. Probably the power went out before the tornado yeah, came. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then? And then, you know, I don't hear from you for a few minutes, and you're just like, I forget what text you sent me, but yeah, you didn't say, like, there's a tornado. You didn't well, really No, know. I didn't know it was a tornado. If I felt the ground rumbling. Right. The house was shaking. But you did say that you and the kids were in the bathroom because yeah. you don't have a basement here. Yep. So. Um, yeah, so it was a freaky moment. I've never, because I've lived in this house for over 20 years now. Yeah. And I've never, you know, we've had bad storms roll through here. Right. And this was the first time I've ever had like that sinking feeling in my stomach where like, fuck, this isn't right. And then when like, we were in the bathroom, when I was feeling the, the ground vibrate, yeah, I knew something was happening. Now, did you tell the kids at that time? I'm glad um, your little one wasn't here because I know she would have been really freaking out. I know your middle kid was kind of freaking out too, but yeah. like, did they know, could they feel the vibration? Because they were probably in the tub. Were you in the tub with them or you were you standing No, I, I was standing by the door. I was had my back to the door gotcha. just in case the... When if something were to break and the wind was trying to blow through the door, you know, I would you were be just the by one. the door. So could they feel the vibration like you were feeling? They said they didn't feel it. No, but but you knew. Oh yeah, I I felt it. Did you say, "Hey, that's a tornado"? I I said, you know, after it all came through, I'm like, I bet you more than anything that was a tornado. Okay, so and I didn't that, know if you maybe said anything at the time, or if they maybe said something, or if you're but just it was trying to... it was over and like. A couple minutes, pretty quick, yeah. And so I poked my head out in the back to see because my my you know stuff that was on my back porch was tossed and yeah, know, I saw the table was and uh, turned over. So I you know shined my light in the backyard and saw that the fence got taken out by the neighbor's tree that's fifty yards behind their house. Oh, you could see that, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, and I'm like, I told the kids, I'm like, 
I bet you more than anything, we had a tornado here. And sure enough, the next day, we were riding around the neighborhood because we had nothing to do because we were out with no uh, power, power still, for yeah. over a day. And you could just definitely see the path of where the tornado went through oh, in our neighborhood. Yeah. You know, you know, fences down, houses, you know, the, the roofs. roofs are ripped off. The, yeah. You know, trees are, you know, laid over in a path. Right. So yeah, luckily it was a F one, you know, the smallest yeah. categorized tornado. I guess that's probably the type of tornado you want if one's going to hit, right? <laughs> exactly. But yeah, luckily, other than just some, you know, damage like that, you know, nobody was injured. And oh no, no bad, crazy. No. Nope. So damage. so that was another delay of why the podcast didn't come. <laughs> so yes, ladies and gentlemen, you know this is a. Sexy podcast. Sorry for the weather update. <laughs> hey, you know, life happens. <laughs> life happens Everyone you know. has a life outside of their sexy times. So yeah, exactly. I can understand. Uh, where else can they find this awesome podcast of episode, what is this, 47 we're on? Yeah, don't ask me about the number. I don't remember. But um, yeah, we definitely have, you can find us on uh, fullswapradio.com, which is a lifestyle-friendly radio station that plays all kinds of podcasts relating to a lot of different facets in the lifestyle. And then you can also find us on Instagram and TikTok at bang bang pineapple gang pod 2.0. And on Instagram, we do have a link tree that has links for everything we've talked about and also a link to the discord. Yep. The swinger society discord. Of I fucking think it's like twenty five thousand swingers or something it's, on that now. Keeps growing. It's fucking amazing. You can yeah, go on awesome. there and there's different rooms to talk about anything. Uh, you know, from vanilla to as hot and spicy as you want to get. Yeah, you no, can find awesome. that on the Swinger Society Discord. So go out and check out that. And uh, I've I've kind of dabbled in Twitter for a little bit, so we do have a Twitter out there. Okay, we have been more active on Twitter, so yep. yeah, you can check out our Twitter page at BB Pineapple G Pod. Yep, and we just hit a thousand followers today, so oh, congratulations to us! Yeah, um, but yeah, that's always cool to get a cool little milestone. And, you know, I've seen people with like thousands and oh, thousands of, course. of them, but yeah. for us, you know, you got to start somewhere, yeah. and especially just starting out. But I noticed that's even more than on our uh, Instagram page, because I know on Instagram we're, what, 700 yeah, we've, some. We've been struggling on Instagram ever since we had our 20,000 follower one taken down. Our page deleted, yeah. It's probably because we're uh, shadow banned or something, you know, they're not seeing it yeah. as much as maybe they were initially. Yeah, because even like the likes and stuff like that don't even get... Yeah, and, and stuff out there doesn't get what we used to have. Well, yeah, when you only have a small percentage of yeah. the followers, yeah, it's going to make sense. Yeah, but uh, also right now on that link tree that's out there, mm-hmm. there is a spot where you can help us get nominated for the ASN Awards. Yeah. Uh, it ends, if you're listening to this, on... Uh, Let's see, so today is... It's the 8th. The 8th, yep. If you're listening to us on the 9th, you only have six more days <laughs> <laughs> to uh, get us nominated for for the ASN Awards. We are up for Best Podcast, for yep. Bang Bang Pineapple Gang, and drum roll, brr, Best Content Creator, <laughs> the Sexy V. <laughs> yeah, which is still... Uh... Yeah, and you crazy to me. And they updated it again this week, and we're still in the top 10 on both categories. So Okay. Well, I know that it's going to be narrowed down to the top five. Well, that's what they said it was going to be. Okay. But today they announced that they're taking the top 10. Oh. And the top 10 that are in the top 10 will be out there for the final for votes. To vo- oh, okay. I guess I didn't awards. realize that they were taking the top 10. Okay. Yep. yep. So, so then everyone now will be able to vote out of those 10 people yeah. or the 10 starting, nominated yeah, categories. Starting April 16th. Gotcha. That's the next round. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, you can still go in there and vote for us. They have all different kinds of categories, so you can go in there and uh, submit uh, names for any other category that you have submissions for. Yeah, but uh, for those two categories, make sure. But yeah, for the one. podcast and the yeah creator, <laughs> Don't forget about the sexy V and Bang Bang Pineapple Game. Hail to the yeah. Uh, also, go to panac dot com. Panac is a awesome vodka. That is in an awesome bottle. 
Yep, the bottle is a pineapple. Yep. And what's even better is when you screw off the top, which is like the spiky part of the pineapple, that's the lid, you can turn that upside down, and then the bottle will actually sit in it, so it's an upside-down pineapple. Yeah, yeah, so because the, the top <laughs> doubles as a stand, and it's an upside-down pineapple, which is yeah. fucking amazing. Yeah, so you can use the code BBP at checkout for a uh, discount. All right, and uh, another thing we want to plug here real quick, uh, we are now part of Cassidy. So if you go to Cassidy.com, K-A-S-I-D-I-E.com, you can get a free 30-day membership. Yeah. Just use code Pineapple Gang Pod when you go up and sign up for your your 30 free days. Your subscription. You yeah. get 30 free days on us. That's awesome. So you can go on and check out Cassidy.com. I, I think we'll go over a little bit more with Cassidy on probably our next podcast because uh, we got a lot of stuff I want to try to pack in today. Uh, seeing as we kind of skipped over a normal week last time because we had our hotel takeover. Yeah. Um, but what is the biggest thing we want to plug right here for tonight? So, yeah, obviously, we want to go check out my OnlyFans page, The Sexy V. And you will get in the door and see everything for uh, half off for the first month, which is seven fifty. And yeah, like I said, you get access to everything. So there's no paywalls, no PPV. Um, once you're in the door, you get it all. And I love getting messages from people saying that they find a particular video or something that they really enjoy. And yeah, I really like hearing about that. So yeah. it's awesome. You'll it, definitely find something. There's all <laughs> kinds of stuff on there. And we were joking the other day because, you know, guys will send you like pictures, you know, videos of them jerking off and coming to you and stuff like that. Yeah. And we were joking around. We we're like, I wonder how many gallons <laughs> of cum guys have dropped <laughs> to the sexy. I get a <laughs> lot of messages saying that, you know, they jerk off to me a lot. And I'm just thinking, okay, well, these are only a small portion of the people that are telling me they do. You know, not to be all like, oh, I know there's other people out there, but I would imagine there are other people out there yeah. um, that have used my content to well we've help we've them been hearing off. for the last few years now even the people on fet life they're all like yeah right. I, I, I just came to your your, your video or your, your no picture. we do and then we we have had people like oh yeah i've been big fans of you guys for a long time that you know we have no clue about because they don't talk to us they're yeah. just like a fly on the wall which is cool but, but yeah i was thinking like wow like how much cum has been i mean okay for me personally coming to you <laughs> I'm in a gallon, like the you know those those blue you know. Drum, oh, like yeah, like the tubs, the, yeah, the blue drums that you find yeah. the bodies in typically. Yep, yeah, yep. I put I put, a, I put a lot of my babies into. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, my 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 man gravy oh, babies, not real babies. Yeah, no, I was gonna say they're not babies. <laughs> Potential. <laughs> Potential ones. But no, no. Uh, so yeah, I've. Uh, it, it's definitely crazy how many guys are like, oh, yeah. I love hearing about it. It's definitely, I'd say, a kink of mine because, yeah, I mean, who doesn't like hearing that, hey, I used your pictures to get off? Like, that's cool. Yeah. Like, you know, like I'm providing you a service and I'm not even there to, you know, like help <laughs> you. Like, you know, like, could it be any better? You are, you are doing... God's work. I am doing a service <laughs> yes, to these you men. <laughs> you know, I'm helping them relieve stress. Yes, and you're helping it's very important. And you're helping them with their health too, because you know uh, you have to keep those those pipes flowing. Yep, help them with low blood blood pressure. Mm. You know, being testicular kind of like cancers. You know, <laughs> keeping it down. Yep. You know? Yep. Yeah. So See? if you guys want to go and check out the sexy V, go and check her out <laughs> on OnlyFans because you are not going to be disappointed. And if you want that link too, that's on that link tree as well on Instagram. Yeah. So you can go and click on that. Uh, but uh, I want to touch on a couple of things before we get into our DM slides of this week. And uh, it, it, it's just irritating me. Yeah. That people are, you know, because it's come up a couple of times where people think we are fat shamers mm-hmm. and that we, 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 Make fun of fat people, and I, I, we don't make fun of fat people. We, we've been with fat people, you know, not, you know, bigger people. Yeah, here we go. I'm, I'm burying myself now, but we've been with bigger people, and uh, we had an instance this week, or was it last week? 
Yeah, it was a little while ago. Where this guy uh, was commenting on one of our, our friends' posts uh, that he was surprised that we played with them because, you know, you know, Fox is a bigger girl. And he thought that we were, uh, what, what was the word that he co- said that we were? I I don't remember. I I don't even remember, to be honest with you. But yeah, he just made a comment like, oh, I listened to him before. I'm surprised you're like promoting their podcast because they seemed like they, you know, are, are fat shamers or whatever. And I know where he got that from. It was the preferences um, that, you know, we post sometimes about what we like. And those are just our preferences. And yeah, yeah, that's but, and just because a group of people, regardless of what it is, if they're not included in our preferences, it doesn't mean we're shaming the people that are not part of that group. Yeah. Just like you have preferences of what, you like and types of people that you like to fuck and you know obviously it's not a rigid fucking you know like boundaries you know obviously yeah, right? that's not the case but you know just generally like what gets us going you know yeah. you know everybody has those things so to be you know told that we're shaming just because we don't include every single fucking person in the world on the list like <laughs> it doesn't work that way <laughs> yeah and you know, it, it just aggravated me because he's like, I'm not here to start any trouble. But yet the <laughs> motherfucker kept going on he and did. on and Exactly. On. Yeah. It's like, okay, well, if you listen to the podcast and that's the impression you got, you didn't like it, you stopped listening to us. Okay, cool. But to go on and then talk shit to somebody and then say they're not talking shit, that's exactly what you're doing. Yeah. And, and this guy had did his homework on us, too, because he listened to the podcast. He found us on Reddit. Uh, he said that he didn't like what he saw on our Something preferences. On Reddit, yeah. So he blocked us on Reddit. Okay, dude, you blocked us on Reddit. Then, you know. Cool, I'm not going to sleep over it. Right. But, yeah. But more than likely, I bet you more than likely, he probably slid into the DMs and we were like, no, dude, just not interested. And then he fucking ran with it. Yeah, I don't know. It could just, it could have just been he saw something Maybe he didn't fit in the category and got and took it personal. You no. know, I, I don't know. But, you know, if it's something where he's going to, like, start shit about it, it's like, dude, just, you know, if you have that big of a problem, fucking send us an email and then we can fucking clear it up. Like, it's, yeah. it's not the case. Yeah, because it, it, it just irritates me. We don't we don't fat shame people at all on this no. fucking show. And, you know, like, I was married to a bigger woman for over 20 years, you know. Yeah. And, yeah, and it's not even like that. Like, but... But I don't know. I don't but know. yeah, let's move on from the negativity. Okay. I don't need that bullshit. All right, so we'll talk about a little positivity yeah, stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, something that we left off from our hotel takeover show. And I was shocked when you told me this that we, you know, we were walking in the hallway of the the hotel, you know, party. Yeah. And uh this this gorgeous tall woman, you know, she was buck ass naked to the world. You know, she had Titties pierced, like how many piercings in her nipples? Like four piercings. And oh, eight. she had two in one, and then just uh, pierced regularly in one. So she had like the cross, you know, she had a vertical and horizontal in one tit, and then or one nipple, yeah. and then the other nipple was just pierced. Yeah, because that, that was the couple that was interested in possibly doing the the body hanging. Yeah, they were talking about the body suspensions, and yeah. they wanted to talk to me about possibly um, just getting some more information about it, which. We never really got a chance to no. talk to them much about it. So if they are listening, um, yeah, just hit us up, and yeah, I'm more than happy to. Yeah, and uh, answer was, any questions. It was funny because you know she had beautiful tits on her. Yes, and you know on one of our walkthroughs, uh, you you commented how nice her tits were or something like that, and she's like, "Well, don't just compliment them or something." She goes. Go ahead and touch them. Right. <laughs> yeah, I think I was talking about the piercings or, or her dermals because she had two dermals in her uh, chest there, kind of like how I have the one. And I was asking if it was uh, dermal or actually if it was like a surface piercing. And so we were talking about that. And she's like, oh, well, uh, yeah, you, you can touch them. And, yeah, she had some nice tits. And, yeah, I guess that was the first time I had touched uh, fake tits. Yeah, that was the first time you ever touched fake tits. Yeah, I'm trying to think. I don't think I've ever experienced... Fake tits before. 
Wow. So, yeah, it was so, a first. It was a first for you. Yeah. And I was like, so how did they feel? <laughs> <laughs> they felt wonderful. Hell yeah. Yeah. Um, another thing to come out of the hotel takeover is that we talked about uh, that the woman in the red bunny suit. We had talked yes. about her in the podcast, right? We did. Yep. Because, yep. Yep. And uh, it was funny because I got a DM slide on her Instagram yeah. from a woman. From and, her? Yeah, from her. <laughs> and awesome. she, she goes, I had some friends that listened to your podcast. Told me that you were talking about me on your that show. You mentioned me. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, ah, heck. I'm like, well, first of all, I hope we didn't offend you. And she goes, she goes, oh no, the total opposite. She goes, I was totally flattered. Yeah, well, that's awesome. I know how you guys. She should be. She's yeah. fucking gorgeous. Fucking gorgeous. And she was super, super nice too. You know, like I said, she just came walking right up that hallway and came right up to me and just started talking away. You know, yeah. so that was awesome. Yeah, um, uh, today's show, we don't have a sexy story for you guys. We could have. We tried. We tried. We tried. Um, we could have had actually a couple of stories for you guys. But one, uh, we had a bowl lined up, uh, one of our bowls that we played with last year. Yes, we played with him one other time before, and we hadn't talked to him in a while, and then he kind of came back around, and... Um, he was interested in playing again because before I wasn't sure if he'd be interested in coming back. I didn't know if we like scared him away from the yeah. MMF yeah, thing. Yeah, he, he fucking disappeared <laughs> quick. Yeah, because he was gone and um, he didn't post any of the stuff on his OnlyFans page, which, you know, I was kind of surprised because we had talked about, you know, both posting content. And, yeah. um, but anyway, so he kind of came back around and we had planned to meet up again. Uh, so the day before, we had worked it out. Yeah, we and had we had no kids in the house at all. Yeah, it was a very you, rare occurrence. Yeah, um, you were you know your son was like off like like uh, with his grandmother for the last those couple of days. Right. Yeah. So you didn't have to worry about running back and forth. So we right. had freaking all night. Right. Oh, that would have been awesome, but he called off that morning. <laughs> he did, yeah. So, um, you know, that day that, you know, I think it was a little later in the morning, I get a text from you and you say, uh, yeah, he canceled. And even the night before, I'm like, I wonder if he's going to cancel. I made a comment to you. Yep. And sure enough, he did. Yeah. So um, he said he was sick. He had a fever. So hopefully that was the case. Obviously, people get sick, you know, yep. give them the benefit of the doubt, but. Because I would not imagine why somebody would like plan something but not intend to go through with it. Yeah. Like, why would you waste somebody's time like that? Yeah. I, so I don't know. It was disappointing to say the least. Yeah, but, you're you know, kind of you know out. I, I get it. It's not our first rodeo with guys canceling on us. <laughs> well, yeah. And then a lot of the other guys, there have been several guys that have hit me up. Um, you know, on OnlyFans asking about hooking up with us. And it's like, you know, the the free time that we do have, we want to be able to post it. Like, yeah. that's just how it is. And a lot of these guys don't want to become creators. And it's just like, yeah, well, yeah, if, you, if you can't take the like 10 minute step to, to fuck you, <laughs> then, then maybe you shouldn't be around here fucking you. But uh, you did have a, a fan. That that wants to fuck you on OnlyFans got verified. He did, yeah. And so you know now he's on the the well. Maybe we can make something happen, Black. Yeah, definitely. But the thing is, um, he's not local, and yeah. it, you know, being ninety minutes away, it makes it difficult when we only have a small window of time. Sometimes, kind of last minute. You know, no. so it's hard for somebody, especially that far away, to be like, "Oh yeah, let me be there no. in two hours." <laughs> <laughs> like, cool, we only have three. Right? <laughs> you know, exactly. So, so yeah, it's it's tough because most of the guys that we do talk to are far away. No, yeah. so and for the other sexy story that could have happened is that, ladies and gentlemen, we got our first invite to a house party. Oh, yeah, we did. Yeah, we got invited to a house party. And like a house party that would have been like cool, not one of the creepy house parties that we talked about in our first um, experiences yeah. of sleeping. Well, I guess it, we can't say it's our first invite to a house party, but to a real house party. Like an actual <laughs> party where we, yeah, where it's like legitimate. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So we got invited 
and it was like for that weekend and it was just the weekend that you know you had your your son yeah we had the kids yeah uh i i ended up not having my my daughter so i could have gone because my older son's more self-sufficient but kids are older but unfortunately you know gotta get all those those chickens aligned and yeah uh, so didn't yeah. work. No. <laughs> so yeah, you know, it's always usually something like that, but that's unfortunately life, you know. Yeah. That's just kind of how it is. You have to work around yeah. what you have going on. Yeah, definitely. So we just make the best of it. I mean, that's ultimately what you have to do. Yeah. All right. So, uh, so our sexy story later on tonight, I'm gonna bring up another bull story uh, from my day of being a bull. We'll talk about the chick that. Never had an orgasm, quote unquote, until, quote unquote. until she met me. Yeah. Uh, get this guy. Yeah. Uh, but uh, one other thing is that we will be at Exotica Chicago April 22nd. So if you guys are in the area and want to visit Exotica and uh, see us mulling around the show floor. Yeah. We'll be walking around on uh, Saturday. All day Saturday, yeah. I would imagine. Yep. Um, we got a room for the night. So. Yeah, so uh, we, mm. I've, I've got a couple of content creators that are interested, but it's all about the timing for everything. Yeah. If we can tie some things down to be... Timing correctly. Know, and get some freaky freak on yeah. at, at Chicago Exotica. So go to exotica.com, E-X-X-O-T-I-C-A.com. And uh, get your tickets for Chicago. It's April 21st, 22nd, and 23rd. And yours truly and yours truly er, her <laughs> will be at Chicago on the Saturday, the 22nd. So, yeah. Uh, I might, I, I've got some goodies that we'll bring. And uh, I think I still got some stickers and buttons and stuff left over. Oh, so. yeah. Some stuff for the podcast. Yeah. Yep. And then I got some Cassidy swag too that we can hand out. Yeah. That's awesome. So, wow. Uh, so just, if you see us, don't be shy. Come up. Yeah, come maybe, say hi. Maybe uh, the sexy V will give you a blowjob. <laughs> what? <laughs> what, is that not happening? Is that part? Is that not part of the gre- uh, meet and greet? <laughs> you think I just hand them out like suckers? I mean, <laughs> I've seen you. Well, yeah, but not to just every person that walks up. Okay. See, this is why people slide in their DMs with the DMs that they slide in with when I say shit like this. All right, guys. Okay, so uh, we're going to go into our DM slides of the week. Yeah, I was going to say, well, I don't bite, but hmm. that might be disappointing for this guy who slid into my DMs here. <laughs> so uh, this came through FET, and um obviously fed is a fetish website so you have all kinds of people with all kinds of fetishes which is cool yeah everyone's got their own thing right we don't we don't yuck no one no one's yum so he says hello i have a biting fetish i want to be bitten so hard but you have to do it really well with your full force how hard can you bite do you have any biting limits i can pay well you can, kindly wait in your reply. <laughs> <laughs> you, he can pay well. So once again, a guy is sliding into your DMs thinking you're a goddamn whore. Well, I can be a whore, but I'm not a prostitute. <laughs> is, is there a difference between a whore and a prostitute? Well, I guess maybe in my mind is... Maybe, I don't know, I guess prostitute is what, like, the professional term for, you know, a lady of the night. I don't know. Now we're going to have prostitutes, you know, (laughs) writing bad things about us online. Well, no, I'm just saying, like, that would be the term I would use to describe somebody like that, a prostitute. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't say a whore because I know some whores that aren't prostitutes that are fucking whores. (laughs) So that's why I differentiate the two like that. Oh, that's cool. So, yeah. But, uh, yeah, you know, there's nothing in your profile on FetLife that says anything about biting. No, nothing at all. Um, And that's the thing. Like, if you take two seconds to read my fucking tiny-ass profile, there's nothing in there about biting or how I want to bite you with full force and how my biting fetish is. Now, I've never been a biting person. Like, I've never wanted to bite someone, and I don't like when people bite me. 
So I did kind of have a thing with this back in, <laughs> and you laugh. <laughs> You've seen the photo. I've seen a photo. <laughs> so back in my body modification days, this was actually with the guy who we had talked about who had the penis implants. Um, and he also had the uh, miotomy. So he had the split <laughs> the, the cock. The hot dog in the microwave. Yeah. So <laughs> not the entire cock was split. It was just the head. So, um. Yeah, that was him. Yeah. And and you had a He had uh he just enjoyed biting and just like leaving marks. So when we were together, we just kind of did that and you know, I mean, I, I enjoyed it at the time. It wasn't to the point where it was like bleeding or anything like that. You know, you just get little like marks and I I remember I remember it was really funny because he would like bite like my inner thighs, right? So I'd have marks on my inner thighs and you know, I'd get kind of bruised up. And I did not think of timing and, oh, I have a gyno appointment. <laughs> so I go and the doctor, like, asks me, like, are you being abused? <laughs> oh, no. I'm like, no, this is completely consensual. <laughs> wow. So, yeah, that would have been actually, awkward. You know, now that I think about it, yeah, but at the time... You know, it's like whatever. Yeah, right. And, you know, and I've seen the picture, you know, where you're all bit up and shit. And, yeah. And I'm like, motherfucker, I got my ass almost chewed out because I fucking hit you with a belt one day. <laughs> but this motherfucker <laughs> ate you like fucking uh, Jeffrey Dahmer. No, it wasn't like that. But here's the thing. I was expecting him to bite me. I was knowing ahead of time he was going to bite me. Did I know ahead of time you were going to hit me with the belt? Mm. No, that was a surprise hit. It was a surprise <laughs> hit, so that was the difference. <laughs> All right, so uh, I'm kind of interested. Did you get, like, sexual gratification from him biting you? Um, No, it wasn't anything like that. No. Um, no, it's not like when he'd bite me, I'd be like... Oh. oh yeah, like you know, like I'd get you know tingles in my vagina or something like that, yeah. or my clit would quiver. <laughs> like no, it wasn't like that at all. Um, I think it was just more just enjoying the the time together. You know, he seemed to like it. I just you know, I just yeah. like. Did he expect was, to be bit back, or was he the, just a biter? He was just a biter. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Like I said, I don't yuck at anyone's yum. I just so. it, I, it it interests me. To the, not that I want to see it or do it, but interests me that somebody's into it. You know? Yeah, like you know, it, like it's one really, day he woke up and was like, "Yeah, I think I like biting things." Well, yeah, I, I really don't know how it came about, you know, with him in particular, but um, yeah, it just kind of happened, and I don't know, maybe what, you know, you just start making out and you're kind of biting each other a little bit, and then it just kind of progresses into you know a little more, and I guess just kind of being in the the body mod scene, like, you kind of like seeing the marks, you know, you kind of like seeing that alteration, even though it's just like temporary, I guess, kind of in a way. No. Um, maybe that has something to do with it. But I will say, though, like my pain tolerance now is a lot different than it was back then. Because even when I got like my arm tattoo, because that was my most recent tattoo, it was so fucking different compared to all my other pieces. And yeah, it's all on different body parts, but... I would definitely say it decreased mm. as I got older. Yeah. So it's weird. Uh, when I was first getting with my with my ex-wife, you know, in the dating stages. Yeah. She liked to bite. And I was like, whoa, whoa. I'm oh, not okay. into this at all. So she liked to bite. Just like where on your neck or mm, just. Fucking anything. You could be like doing a laundry and you get a surprise bite. Oh, really? Yeah. I was like, it was, it was, it was odd. Oh. <laughs> it was odd. But so it, not even a not even a sexual thing like this. No, like no, this my thing like, was just completely sexual. Oh, no, you can just be laying there in bed and you know, bam. Oh, you yeah. Can get your your shoulder. I'm like, no, I don't. Look. I I I fucking hate pain. Mm -hmm. I am the biggest pussy when it comes to pain. <laughs> so that's why I'm not big on you know getting my nipples twisted or bit on. Yeah. Or, you know, I don't like being bit. It's just not my thing. Yeah. Yeah, but hey, uh, like I said. 
everyone's got their own thing. Yeah. So yeah, that's um, yeah, that was something I had a little uh, experience with back in the day. But you are not into that now, and it is not on your Fat Life but, page. Yeah, so it's do not, not be <laughs> sliding into your DMs. It's not on my Fat Life page, so it's just kind of funny. Like it'd be like me trying to hook up with someone. I don't know. I'm trying to think of a fetish. Yeah, that likes chicks with dark hair and. <laughs> right yeah like it, yeah it's just like okay it doesn't make any sense but whatever All right so uh i have noticed recently i don't think I, I think it's because the podcast is becoming more widely known you know on the reddit and you know all of our play- pages that we post on yeah so people are really hesitant before they send in dms lately so my dm slides have been pretty lame yeah because they know they're going to be on the podcast yeah <laughs> except for this motherfucker uh, all right this last week i've had some major pain with my fucking sinus infection and shit that i've had yeah to where i am up all night long because i can't lay down yeah because it just like balls Dreams. up in my yeah, fucking that head sucks. So I was up, it was like 2.30 in the morning, and I, I see this, you know, notification that I got on Reddit. So mm-hmm. I'm like, hmm, motherfucker, I'll see Who's up going. at 2.30 Who's in the morning? Who's up at 2.30 in the morning? <laughs> so, uh, so this guy sent a DM. He goes, all right, you little slut. I'm 31, and I'm in the northwest burbs of Chicago. When are you free to be used? I want to fuck you. And leave you dripping from every hole. <laughs> and then he sent a picture, a shirtless picture. He's got pants on with a devil emoji over his face. Yeah. And I'm like, and I was just going to delete it, right? Yeah. And I'm, I'm sitting there. I'm like, it's 2.30 in the morning. I ain't got nothing to do right now. And I need con- I need fucking content for the show. <laughs> I'm like, I will see if this motherfucker is going to hang himself. Yeah. So I go, uh. So does this approach actually work for you? <laughs> and surprisingly, because usually if you quit back at them, yeah. they won't say nothing back. Yeah, they'll just ignore you. Yeah. This guy goes, a couple of times, but I'm guessing it's not working for you. <laughs> <laughs> you think? <laughs> I, go, I go, that's definitely not a way to blow up someone's DM. And I am shocked it has ever worked for you before. Yeah. He goes, all right, so disregard that. <laughs> Let me regroup and take my time here and try again. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, Rewind. This, I'm like, this motherfucker's got some balls. Wow. I'm like, I'm like, nah, dude, we're gonna pass. Yeah. Best of luck. <laughs> he goes, I, I respect I, that. <laughs> hey, at least he's cool about it. He could have been, you know, a butthead about it, but. Yeah, things like that. Like, I like being talked dirty to. Um, I like that kind of stuff. But if that's going to be your first fucking conversation with me ever that we have, like, it's not going to fly. Like, that's something that's earned with me, at least. I know every person's different, but, you know, you got to earn that kind of thing. Because it's like a respect thing for me, you know, because, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know who in the world. Would open that up and be like, oh, my pussy's so wet. You know, like I said, there's <laughs> probably some people out there that enjoy it, but it it's not for me. You know, you can talk dirty to me once you know me a little bit and know that it's it's okay to do so. Yeah. You know? Yeah, just not right off the bat. No, not off the bat like that because I'm just going to be like, what the fuck are you even doing? That would, like, be, that would be the equivalent of me walking up to you, not knowing you, in Target, whipping out my penis and me like, bitch, suck this dick. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yep, pretty much. Yep. Are you going to like see me out in public? Is that going to be your first fucking conversation to me? All right. Probably not. This so, dick is going to fill every hole of yours. <laughs> so like, why do you think it's okay to send a DM and talk to me like that? Yeah. Because they're hiding behind the DM. <sighs> the guy was hiding behind an emoji Covering his face. Yeah, and the thing is, I guarantee you that's never worked before. He just said that because he wanted to prove a point. Yeah, he was trying to save face. Right. (laughs) Fucking tool. (laughs) Oh, people. All right, so on to the news story of the week. And this one came up. This was like in our local, it was posted on our local news here, but it was out of state news. Yeah. And I was shocked. 
that they would even waste their time with this. Got picked up, yeah. But uh, the title here is Threesome Turns Violent After Woman Mocks the Couple's Genitals. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, Marathon, Florida. A couple ended up in handcuffs, and not the fuzzy kind, <laughs> after inviting a disrespectful woman over for a threesome. Wow. According to the police. According to the Monroe Country uh, County Sheriff's Office, officers received a complaint on March 6th from a woman named Della Draper, 29, who claimed to have been beaten by a couple <laughs> after she accepted an invitation to join them at their house for a sexual threesome. Wow. Citing arrest records, the smoking gun reported that Stephen Lopez, age 31, met Draper while working as a taxi driver. Lopez said he was in an open relationship with Angela Vasquez, age 20, and invited Draper over to have sex with them. Oh, isn't that nice? Oh, what a good boyfriend getting a girl for his girlfriend. During sex, Vasquez claimed that Draper became very disrespectful toward the couple and told the police that, told Stephen he had a little dick (laughs) and his wife had a stank. Pussy. Oh, my God. This is on a re- police report. So, okay, continue. Draper complained to police that Vasquez tried to dominate her sexually inside the house. The couple then asked Draper to leave the house, but she retreated to the couch and refused to move. <laughs> Both Lopez and Vasquez told police. Draper said uh, Lopez then grabbed her by the hair and threw her against the wall, and the couple both threw her outside. And uh, claimed that uh, he repeatedly punched her. Jeez. So. <laughs> wow. All because he got told he had a small dick and she got told she had a stink pussy. Stank pussy. Wow. All right. So here's my thing. If you're inviting someone over for a threesome, mm-hmm. wash your pussy. <laughs> well, absolutely. I th- think that would be common sense, right? Right. Maybe not to some people, but you think if you're going to have somebody else in between your legs, whether it's going to be their hand, their face, their cock, or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> keep it, you know, at least clean yourself. Like, make it <laughs> enjoyable for the other person, at least. Right. Especially if you want a repeat performance. Yeah. And, you know, I... I all right, so this guy had a conversation with this woman in his cab. He's like, oh, yeah, I don't know how. I've, I've only been in, like, one cab, and I never <laughs> talked to the cabbie. <laughs> Do you care, you know. So how does it start? All of a sudden become tax, taxi cab confessionals? I Yeah, <laughs> I, I don't know how it starts. Yeah, I'm curious to see who initiated it. Um was she all about it? Was it like the dude's idea? Did he try to convince her of something? Like, who knows really what happened um, other than what's, you know, the incident from the police, no. um, that incident. But yeah, I guess that threesome ended in a police report. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine being the officer and having to have, you have to keep a straight face, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> Taking down this report. Like, and he, he, goes, he goes, small penis. <laughs> And stank, stank pussy. pussy. <laughs> I would have been like, "Well, and, and well, he, is it true?" <laughs> and he didn't. Even, and, and you went. In the police report, said stank pussy. So it's not like the police officer was like trying to pretty it up and being like. And she said she had a foul smelling vagina. <laughs> right. No. Trying to make it all like professional no, sounding. No. She said stank pussy. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. So, yeah, clearly this couple does not know how to go about picking up the right type of women. Oh, man. Hmm. Yeah, and but who really knows what's involved there? I, I, um, you know, I don't know if there's drugs involved. Yeah, or... I was just thinking that. Like, I hate to be, uh, you know, even say stuff like that. But, you know, if alcohol's involved or drugs, like, you never really know what's going on. And you're not going to get the whole story, especially when the fucking cops are involved. So who really knows what happened? But but what really happens is that your name gets put into a police report that becomes public knowledge. Right. That the public knowledge then goes to a podcast. Yes. Which is. <laughs> and now everybody knows this person has a stink pussy and her boyfriend has a small penis. <laughs> so congratulations be to like, them. Be like, what's your name? <laughs> oh, small penis guy. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, you just said their names two seconds ago when yeah, you read right? the article. So yeah, you're at a, you're at a, you know, you know, trying to find a new job because his taxi cab isn't working. <laughs> and, and you know, you know, companies do these background checks. Yes. Ah, uh, says You're here, this guy. Uh, you beat up a woman because she told you you had a small dick. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! Application denied. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's going to affect our morality clause. <laughs> All right. So uh, small dick kind of leads us into our sexy story. <laughs> why is that? Because the reason why. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, I remember now. Okay. Uh, for this bull story. Yeah, I thought you were making a reference to your dick. Well, my dick is slightly bigger <laughs> than small. Well, the way you talk, yeah. Hey, from the last couple. Remember we read a couple weeks ago. That the average size penis has jumped up to six and a half inches. Yes. <laughs> so I'm slightly above average now. <laughs> <laughs> Still above average. Uh, but uh, my bull story is uh, it's pretty interesting. Uh, I, I met this couple off of SLS. Okay. And uh, uh, so for, for those guys that are out there and they're all like, oh, I want to get into the swing world. And I, I'm like, dude, just go to SLS, set up a profile. And just kind of start there. Don't be a dick in the DMs or nothing no, like that. No, be respectful. It's not hard. This couple approached me. Okay. So if they like what they see, a couple will definitely approach you. Right. So this couple approached me, and they're like, well, we have a very unique situation here. Mm-hmm. She's like, um, my husband wants me to fuck other guys. And uh, the reason why is because I've only been with him, mm-hmm. and he has a small penis, Okay, and I've never had a vaginal orgasm with a penis. So she had come before, correct? Yes. She's okay. had an orgasm before, but never by a penis. So never from vaginal or... Yeah, ve- like penetrative sex. Yes. Penis in vagina, an orgasm just from that. Yes. Not a clitoral orgasm. No. Okay. No. Nope. So, yeah, this is really foreign to me because I don't get those orgasms. But you've had them in the past. You've you told me that you've had them in the past, though. I mean, I've been able to get off with a cock in me, but it's because I'm, like, grinding on them. Like, so you never had a dude just pound the fuck out of you and you had an orgasm from it? No. I've never had like an internal orgasm other than like when you make me squirt because I'd call that a type of orgasm because you know there's obviously something going on down there. But no, I've never had an orgasm from just being fucked from penetration in and out motion only. Okay. Never in my life. Yeah, so uh this lady might have had the same problem with you, but she wanted to find out if that was if the case. If she could, and, okay. And I seen pictures of the dude's cock. He had a small cock. Oh, it's small. Okay. Uh, but we're not cock shaming. So all the small guy, cock guys, don't be shaming. <laughs> I got a small cock myself. Oh, shut the fuck up. <laughs> but see, that's the thing. A lot of these dynamics, though, they're looking for a particular type of person with either a bigger cock or a smaller cock or whatever to fit their fantasy or you know, whatever they're trying to play out. So all these people that are getting butt hurt because they don't fucking fall into those fucking categories all the time. Like, yeah. move the fuck on. And here's the other stipulation. He said, I don't want to be there when it happens. Oh. He goes, He goes. I don't want to watch. Uh, I don't want to, you know, I, I just want her to go off and do her thing. So you, this wasn't like you taking pictures and sending them to him during the encounter? Because I know sometimes no, it, uh, guys init- like that. No, initially it wasn't like that. Okay. So the first time you met, she just, it was just you guys, one-on-one. Yep. On one. yep. Um, and She'd go home and they'd do their thing. And at this time, uh, my ex was still living with me. Okay. And I was sleeping on the couch and shit. And I think so we've talked like you, about it in the past. So yeah, it's not so it's like, not like could, you had a place. I did not have a place. Right. To, to bring chicks to fuck. Right. So where would I bring chicks to fuck? Well, let me let me see because you brought me here one time. Uh huh. Where where was that? Uh, your work. <laughs> yes. Yes. My, my work. Yes. <laughs> Which is like you know like not a, a, a. Let me just say it's a place with cameras everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> let no, me there, just say that. There's definitely <laughs> cameras everywhere, uh, but they didn't have any cameras once you got into my 
office area. Right. Yeah. And uh, I know that because I was part of security. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, uh, she actually came down. Uh, it was at night. You know, after what, hours. After yeah. hours. And uh, uh, she wanted to meet out at a public place first. So we met up at a McDonald's over by my work. Okay. So we met up there. I'm like, well, our, our cleaning crew comes in between like this time and this time. <laughs> I'm like so, we gotta kind of, you know, if you're interested in making this happen, we gotta do this now, or we gotta wait. Yeah, is kind of what you're saying. Yeah, okay. Yeah, and and she showed up. She's gorgeous. Mm-hmm. Um, and you know, tall woman. She was like six two. Oh wow! Yeah, damn. Yeah, she was. Okay. She was nothing but legs. Okay. Yeah. And uh, so uh, so we sat there and talked, and I'm like, I'm like, I was nervous because you know she's fucking hot, and yeah, I was like, so uh, you know. It, we talked to her for a while. I'm like, are you interested in, you know, making this happen? Yeah. And she's like, yes, I'm very interested in having, cause I've showed her pics of my dick and she's like, yeah, you know, I'm, I want to see if this is really the, the re- reason why she's not able to get off yeah. from the size of the cock. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep. And, uh, so I'm like, all right, so, uh, let's go back to my work. Okay. So we get back to my work and when we pulled into the parking lot, the cleaning crew was still there. Oh, they were still there. Yeah, so gotcha. so uh, so I walked over to her car and got into her car with her, and uh, uh, I'm like, "Well, you gotta wait till they leave, and right, because you know, we can't go and just fuck with the clean crew and everything." Yeah, there. yeah. Uh, so uh, so while we were sitting in the car, we started making out for a little bit, and mm-hmm. you know, I started playing with her and you know, rubbing on her and stuff like that, and her pussy was like fucking drenched. <laughs> When I reached out. Well, she's all like, wait, you know, her husband's probably like, yeah, I set you up with this guy who's going to make you calm. You know, like, of course she's going to be excited. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, so it was probably about a half hour later than usual that the clean crew got of out. Of course, yep. I'm like, fucking figures every time, right? Yep. So, uh, so we went down um, into the basement area uh, where my office was. Yeah. And so um, uh, we started making out a little bit more. And, you know, I bent her over, you know, my desk, mm-hmm. you know, and I started eating her out from behind. Yeah. And uh, and I'm like, so how do you want to do this? You know, you know, do you want it doggy style or whatever? <laughs> and she's like, well, uh, I want to suck your cock for a little bit. Okay. All right, so she started sucking my dick. Mm-hmm. And uh, she when she pulled my dick out, she goes, wow, this is. This is a nice cock. Yeah. <laughs> this is huge. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. Probably next to her husband. <laughs> I probably look like fucking John Holmes. So, uh, it's bigger than the pictures. <laughs> it's bigger than the pictures. I've heard that before. Yeah. Uh, but uh, so she played, you know, sucked on my cock for a little bit. And uh, I'm like, well, let me lead you over to this desk because there was an empty desk. Yeah. And, you know, I laid her on the desk and, uh, you know, I put a condom on because, you know, you know, of course, yeah. she 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 wanted condoms yeah. the whole time, and yep. you know I'm gonna fine. I'm gonna give her whatever she wants. Mm-hmm. So you know I'm I am teasing her pussy with my cock for a little bit, mm-hmm. and uh, she was pretty tight too. Mm-hmm. And you know I got my cock into her, and it was no more than less than a minute into it, and she had this like look on her face. She was mm-hmm. like, "Holy fuck!" And then she fucking came hard. Yeah. I'm like, did this chick just say she never had a fucking vaginal orgasm and then just fucking came on my cock in less than a minute? Yeah. So uh, so she was coming hard, and uh, I'm like, do you want me to, st-? you know, after she came down from it, I'm like, do you want me to stop? And she, she's, like, she's like, no. She's like, that was fucking amazing. <laughs> she's like, keep going, dude. <laughs> like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, right? So, so she... So I'm like, so I'm like, I'll, I'll keep going. So I, I made her come three times. Really? Yes. And wow. I'm, like, I'm like, this is, I'm like, is this chick just pulling my leg? Is she making up the story that she's never had an orgasm on a cock before? Because she came so fucking quick. Right. And then three times after, or like two more times <laughs> yeah. after that. Yeah. Right. Wow. And uh, so she. Uh, you know, got dressed and everything after you know, because I, guys were finished, I you, know, you, know, yeah. you know, I came and everything, and yeah, everybody was happy, everybody was happy, you yeah. know, it was a good time, and you know, I had the, I mean, her legs were fucking like flung over me, 
and like kicking me in the ass. That's how long <laughs> your fucking legs were. Yeah. It was it was just crazy. Yeah. It was nuts. And uh so uh now we were leaving, walked out to the car and she like like full on kisses me. Yeah. You know, like, oh my god, I can't believe this like, thanks for making this, this happen. This fucking happened. <laughs> you know, I can't believe it fucking happened and uh she got home that night and you know she started texting me more and she's like oh you know i told my husband all about it and he found it was hot and Mm -hmm. um and she's like i want to do this again yeah because i wondered um because i know some husbands want to hear all about it i know some want pictures during the process or they want a video to uh like you know watch when it's happening Um, so I was kind of curious when you said he didn't want to be there, if he at least wanted to hear about like specific details or if he was just like, go out, you know, be pleased and then just come back and we'll just do our thing, you know? So I'm, I'm kind of curious how dynamics work with couples. Yeah. And that's how it was the first time. Yeah. And then the, the next time she came, she's like, he wants to see pictures this time. Oh, okay. So I think him knowing that she was in good hands and, you know, everything was good. Made it a little more comfortable. Well, of course. And that I actually made her come. Right. That was the goal of him doing this. Yeah. So so she had me take video Mm -hmm. uh, this next time. And once again, it was only like a minute into it, and she's fucking coming. Yeah. I wonder how that made her husband feel. (laughs) Well. Like uh, if that made him feel a certain type of way because he's not able to provide that for her. Yeah. Well, the third time she came down, she FaceTimed him. During okay, during okay, so because we she popped the phone up and he watched as she fucking came like a hundred times on my cock. Jeez, it was, she was like a multiple orgasm or when you got her to orgasm, it was like bam, bam. See, I bam. don't. And there's like no clitoral stimulation at all during no, this. Like you're just ne- straight. She fucking never, her. yeah, straight fucking her. Never touched like, her. You're clit not or like nothing. grinding on her when you're banging her. You're no. not hitting the clit. Like, no. see. No, and it was funny because because we met up probably about six times. Okay, and uh, like one of the times, uh, the clean crew came back to the office <laughs> after you were already after, been there with after, her. Yeah, we were there. Oh boy, Busted. in the middle of it. Oh, you were fucking her, and they come in. Yeah, I heard them come in. Oh boy, and I'm like motherfucker. So I I pushed her into the file room, <laughs> and because uh, the file room. Had a key that can only be unlocked by me. Oh, okay. So, so you they know, get so, in so there. we went into the file room and, you know, the clean crew was doing whatever they were doing down mm-hmm. there. And she thought it was hot and she's like, fuck me. <laughs> nice. And, uh, and so, so I ended up fucking her. And then this, we were talking back and forth before our last time. Mm-hmm. And she's like, She's like, you know, I'm really love my time being with you, mm-hmm. you know, and, you know, just being with you makes me feel fucking amazing. And she's, she's like, uh, she goes, I want you to collar me. Oh. Yeah. So I'm like, that's not my. <laughs> yeah. Like you're not in the whole like. Yeah. She, she, she's like, I want, I want to, to be, be like yours. Yeah. I want to be yours. Right. She goes. She goes. Do you think you could collar me? I'm like, um, I'm like, okay, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, okay. So uh, we had a Dollar Tree that was across the street from from uh, from my work, right? A fucking Dollar Tree. <laughs> so I went over there and got this really cool pink studded dog collar, right? And I don't. I wasn't. I don't know what to fucking buy, right? Oh, I've never heard this story. So, <laughs> so, uh, so I, you know, that night she came to mm-hmm. to my work, and you know, I collared her and everything, and uh, it it was just a weird dynamic after I did that because the whole time she was like, "Oh, I don't want con, I don't want condoms." You know, she goes, "I want condoms used all the time." Yeah. This time she's like, "I don't want condoms." She goes, she goes, and I want you to come at me. Oh. And, you know, and I'm a guy. I'm like, I'm like, okay. <laughs> so you did? But the thing is. She, you she, did? Well, yeah. <laughs> but the thing is, is that she. Yeah, she didn't get pregnant. <laughs> yeah. That's, <laughs> I, you know, I was high up on, I'm coloring this bitch. <laughs> 
god. Okay, this is definitely not what to do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't do this. Uh, but uh, so so. Uh, oh boy. So afterwards, she go. She goes. Well, you know, I trusted you. You know, no condom, this and that. And she goes. No, from here on out, you can't be with any other women. Here we go. And I'm like, motherfucker. I'm like, I didn't sign up for this. <laughs> That's what you sign up for when you fucking put that collar on her neck. And I'm like, I'm like, oh man. I'm like, and that you know is running through my mind. I'm like, I'm like, man. You know, I'm just out of. I'm not even fucking divorced yet. Right. The bitch is still sleeping in your fucking room. You know, you yeah, haven't right. got rid of your fucking ex-wife yet. Yeah, right. <laughs> and uh, I'm, I'm like, I'm like, no. And, and she's married and she was like, she was definitely, she got the feels hard. Yeah. And uh, so after we left that night, you know, I, I had a work trip that I was gone for a week. Okay. You know, I was in for Dubuque for a week yeah. and. You know, and it got to the point where, you know, I started to slowly, but being like, you know, I'm not really looking to do this anymore. Yeah, like it was fun, but. It it went to a level that I didn't want it to go. But you can't blame anyone but yourself because you got, you took her to that level. I don't know. (laughs) You know, I just thought we were having fun, right? I get it, but. You know, and I guess, like, you know, the whole collaring thing, um, you know, I've heard it akin to, like, uh, uh, engagement rings sometimes. I've heard people say, like, that, you know, because it's, like, supposed to be, like, this special thing between the whole, like, you know, the dom and sub. Like, that kind of dynamic, and I get that. But, you know, in this case, yeah, you're just kind of, like... Sure, why the fuck not? <laughs> you know, you didn't know anything about no, it. You're just I'm, like, going I'm, like, with it. I'm like, this if this is gonna get me some more pussy <laughs> I'm like I'm like, cause the pussy's good. You know, I you know, I you know, she was fun. She was a good fuck. Yeah. And, you know, she was boisterous and you know, you know, it, to to make a woman come with my dick is like yeah, but to make her come that fast and that many times, yeah. It's like I'm a fucking stud. <laughs> and then you meet me. Yeah, well, and I fell in love with you, and I don't make you come with my dick. <laughs> well, but yeah, I just can't come just from you know solely penetration. Yeah, yeah. But the thing is, is that you know it's you all encompass but it's not everything. About that. Yeah, it's, I you, mean, there's just so much more to yeah, it. Yeah, you're all encompassing. There are other ways to come. Yeah, like in your butt. <laughs> <laughs> the work on your face when you said that. <laughs> And everyone's laughing because they know you don't take it in the butt. Uh, <laughs> I didn't know that. We've talked about it a few times on this podcast. We're, we're 47 episodes in. People probably know you don't like it in the butt. Well, there's nothing <laughs> online about it. Yeah. Something that we share between us. Oh, okay. Yeah, right. Whatever. <laughs> but yeah, so, uh, you know, it, after I got back from that work trip, I'm like, mm, this. So w- did she take that hard then? Yeah. They, they, they canceled. They, they left. SLS and everything. Oh, really? Never heard from him again. Wow. Nope. Yeah, oh. Once you, I'm a hard man to quit, baby. You should know this. Yeah, I haven't <laughs> quit you yet. Well, yeah, there's no yet. No, oh, yeah. I'm not what going the fuck anywhere. is yet? What the hell? <laughs> yeah, no. I'm just saying, like, I mean, I, it's been how long and I'm still around. So there's something to you. Yeah, so, uh, so all those bulls out there that think you can't get pussy. It happens. You just gotta, it happens, but don't collar don't anyone. Collar the, don't collar the bitch. <laughs> yeah, unless you really know what the fuck you're doing. I went to the Dollar Tree. Yeah, <laughs> it was a nice pink one too. It had little like uh, little studs on it. Little, yeah, little diamond studs. And well, you know, it's funny because we went uh, to this you know shopping today, and we were out, and we saw collars and stuff. And I'm like, you know, where was all this kind of shit when I was trying? to you know dress back in the 90s and stuff because i'd have to go to fucking pet smart and get like kitten collars yeah. and dog collars because you couldn't find this shit anywhere yeah. and now it's all over the place like it's just the yeah. coolest thing ever yeah well that chick's got a dog collar 
<laughs> well, she probably burned it. Yeah, she probably did. I don't know. Yeah, yeah no, that's gone. <laughs> yeah, that was, a, that was an interesting. Bad memories. Yeah. Although, you know, you didn't make her come for the first time, so I don't know. That's obviously why she fell in love with you, because you made her come. She's never had a man make her feel that way before. Yeah, but any guy with a but she seven-inch cock can make her come. She, she didn't know that. Know that. <laughs> you know, she didn't know that, though. Yeah, so hopefully she found another one that was going to be more... And so tune well, to she what... needed to find somebody who was willing to fit her dynamic, and she also needed to communicate too when things change from what you're initially thinking. Yeah, you know, she she when she started catching those feels like that, I was like, uh, yeah, it's I, like I you're married I for one. Yeah, I don't need no, that. and for two, you're still married, trying to get the fuck away from her. Yeah, you don't need more. You know, at least I well, when I met you, you had been. Yeah. Free for a little bit. Yeah, because... Yeah. Still married, but... Still, te- technically, <laughs> but I was free. still married, but, you know, it it does, you know, catch up with you to where, you know, like, man, I, I it was fun being a man whore for a little bit. Yeah. But they're empty calories, and you just miss that, that feeling of having someone. Yeah. And, you know, and that's why, like, when we met on Tinder, I was like... I'm not looking for anything serious, but if right. something was there, I want to look away from be, it. Yeah, yeah, be against it. Be yeah. against it. And I guess I was just like, well, let's hope nothing happens like that because I don't want to deal with a relationship. Because <laughs> I, I didn't want a relationship either, but no. yeah, here we are. Here we are. <laughs> 47 episodes into yeah, the Bang Bang that. Pineapple Gang look podcast, worldwide charting, Yep. nominated for the ASN Awards, Yeah, Bang Bang are. Pineapple Gang. Yeah. Yep. All, All right. right, guys. So that is our show for today. Where else can they find us? So uh, you can check us out at fullswapradio.com. You can check out our shows uh, Monday, 7.30 a.m. and Saturday, 10 a.m. Central Time. Check us out on Instagram and TikTok, Bang Bang Pineapple Gang Pod 2.0. Um, Twitter as well, uh, BB Pineapple G Pod. And then on Instagram, don't forget there is a link tree there that has links to everything we've talked about. Yep. Go to Panac.com and order your awesome pineapple bottled vodka. Use code BBP, B, B, P, bang, bang, pineapple at checkout and get a 15% discount. Yeah. And also make sure to go to Cassidy.com for a free 30 days with the code pineapple gang pod. That's Cassidy.com, K S I. C-I-E dot com. Yeah, and check out my OnlyFans page, The Sexy V. Um, you can find all kinds of stuff there for half off for your first month, seven fifty. dollars Get you in the door. And um, yeah, I know that you will definitely be happy with what you see there. Mm-hmm. And she's got some sexy collars. <laughs> <laughs> I do. <laughs> uh, make sure if you guys are listening on Apple Podcasts, leave a review and a star review as well. And also leave a star review on Spotify. But you said on Spotify that there's a section people can leave a question and answer for the episode now, right? Um, yeah, I noticed when I went on there, um, it's not under our actual, like, the Bang Bang page. But when you click on the actual episodes, um, there's a spot in there where you can actually um, leave well, a comment, I believe. I forget what it was. I have to pull it up again. But right. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Go check it out either way. Yeah, uh, so make sure to leave some reviews out there. Yep. It's, we are also on YouTube as well. I forgot to put that on my uh, my awesome new chart thing. Oh, here. yes. So go to Bang Bang Pineapple Gang on YouTube. And, uh, you can listen to the podcast there as well. All right, guys. Well, that is our show. My name is Jay. And I'm the sexy V. And as always, stay kinky. Stay kinky. Motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>